Kumusta po kayo? Welcome back! Let's continue our journey in learning a beautiful language, Tagalog. And let's do it in the farm! Today, I'm at my mother's farm here at the town of Infanta in the province of Quezon, some five hour drive from Metro Manila. And today, uh, in this short trip, I am acting as my mother's driver. Quezon province was named after Manuel Luis Quezon who was instrumental, he was the president in the 1930s and he was instrumental in helping make Tagalog as the national language of the country. The farm or bukid in Tagalog consists of a rice field or palayan and a small area where coconuts are grown or niyugan in Tagalog. Palayan is the combination of the root word palay, meaning rice, and the suffix an. The suffix that indicates the use of or purpose of an object or a place. Palayan would mean the place of rice, which means rice field. It's the same thing with niyugan. It combines the root word niyog, coconut, with the suffix an. You have niyugan. There is a sound shift with niyog becoming niyug when combined with the suffix an. Hence, niyugan, which literally means the place of coconuts. So, my mom's relatives helped manage the farm and I got some cousins, nephews, and nieces in this area. So, these are my nephews. Hey, kumusta po kayo? Ayan, ayan po sila. They're my tour guide for the day. Happily touring me around. Oh, there's a store. May tindahan daw. There's a store over here. Dalawa. Two. Dalawang tindahan. Two stores. They're telling me there are two stores here. Dalawang tindahan. Alright. And there is a river over here. Mayroong ilog. Anong tawag dyan? What do you call those? Anong tawag? Ilog. Ilog. Okay. There's a river. Ilog. Maalat. Parang asin. Okay. It's salt water. <laughs> the salt water river. We're close to the sea, by the way. See? There's a boat over there. There's a boat. Big boat. There's a boat over there. I don't, I don't know if you can see it. There's a boat. Okay? Or bangka. Bangka. Oh. Alright. So, my nephews are showing me the, well, he calls it a speedboat. Oh, there's someone in the river. Okay? See that? Alright. <laughs> Some local folks. Where is the boat? There's the boat. Show me the boat. Where's the boat? See? See? Even local kids know how to speak English. So, they're showing me the boat. They're calling it a speedboat. It's right over there. So, in Tagalog, we call them bangka. Yan ay isang bangka. That is a boat. Yan ay isang bangka. Bangka. Isa, bangka. Isang, bangka. Yan ay isang bangka. Ayos? I got a few video clips that will help us in our Tagalog lessons. Okay, let's take a look at them. Got banana tree here. Yeah, there. Ito ang puno ng saging. 
Ito ang puno ng saging. Ayos ba? Okay, let's take a look at some more. Let's take a look at the pen where chicken and ducks are kept. And apparently, chicken are very good neighbors of ducks. Itlog ng ano yan? Pato. Itlog ng pato. So, duck's egg. Nice. Very nice. Got some chicken here also. Yeah. See? Here are some roosters. Here are some hens. In Tagalog, roosters are tandang. Hens are inahin. I hope I got that right, otherwise my cousins will kill me. There you have it, just a short tour of the farm. We will be heading back to Metro Manila after this trip. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please click on the like button. That will help this channel reach more people. That's it for now. I will be seeing you again soon. Maraming salamat po at hanggang sa susunod.